Hello viewers, welcome to all the students who are watching these videos. Now in this video I start the integration chapter. So this is the integration level 1 problems. So first question, integral 1 plus cos square x by 1 plus cos 2x into dx. Okay, so this is equals to integral 1 plus cos square x by what is the formula for 1 plus cos 2x? This is equal to 2 cos square x. Okay, and this is equals to writing the constant before the integration 1 by 2 into now separating the denominator 1 by cos square x 1 by cos square x is equal to secant square x what is second value cos square x by cos square x that is equals to 1 ok writing the constant before the integration now separating the denominator that is 1 by cos square cos square by cos square now taking the integration 1 by 2 into integral secant square x is equal to tan x and integral 1 dx is equal to x plus c. So the answer is equal to 1 by 2 into tan x plus x plus c that is the last option. Second question integral cos 2x by cos square x into sin square x into dx. Okay. Now first I replace the cos 2x formula. What is the cos 2x formula? cos square x minus sin square x ok cos 2x formula is equal to cos square x minus sin square x whole pi cos square x into sin square x and this is equals to integral now separating the denominator cos square x by cos square x into sin square x what is that value 1 by sin square x here cos square x and cos square x gets cancelled minus sin square x by cos square x into sin square x these two terms are cancelled so what is the remaining 1 by cos square x ok separating the denominator to both of the terms and this is equals to integral 1 by sin square x is equal to cosecant square x minus 1 by cos square x is equal to secant square x dx now this is equals to doing the integrations integral cosecant square x is equal to minus cot x integral secant square x is equal to tan x plus c so the answer is equal to minus tan x minus cot x plus c and that is the first option next question sum number 3 integral 3 into 2 power x minus 2 into 3 power x by 2 power x into dx ok now this is equals to 3 into first to separating the denominator 2 power x by 2 power x is equal to 1 minus 2 into again separating the denominator 3 power x by 2 power x 3 power x by 2 power x is equal to 3 by 2 whole power x ok 3 power x by 2 power x in the common power 3 by 2 power x which is equals to integral 3 minus 2 into 3 by 2 is equal to 1.5 1.5 into dx. Now doing the integrations, integral 3 dx is equal to 3x. Integral k dx is equal to kx. Integral 3 dx is equal to 3x minus 2 into this is a power x form. What is a power x integration? a power x by log k. That is 1.5 power x by log 1.5. a power x by log k. What is a value here? 1.5. 1.5 power x by log 1.5 plus c. That's all. And this is the second option. Next question. Integral sin inverse x plus cos inverse x whole square into dx. Now this is equals to sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to formula pi by 2. Already we know that sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Okay. So this is equals to pi by 2 whole square into dx is equal to integral pi square by 4 into dx which is in the form of integral k dx. What is k dx answer? kx plus c. That is the answer is pi square by 4 into x plus c. Here the formula for sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Okay. Now replacing the formula and finding the integration. So the answer is equal to pi square by 4 into x and this is the second option. Next question, integral 1 plus x plus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 and so on so on into dx is equals to. So, this is equals to the direct formula for this total expression. This total value is nothing but e power x. So, the given quotient is now integral e power x into dx. Since the total value of this expression is equals to e power x. Now, what is e power x integration? 
e power x plus c that's all that is the answer and this is the first option next question integral 1 minus sin x by 1 plus sin x into dx now this is equals to so to solve this question first we take the rationalization so this is equals to integral 1 minus sin x by 1 plus sin x into what is the denominator value here 1 plus sin x so we take the rationalization of the denominator that is we do the rationalization with the value 1 minus sin x by 1 minus sin x okay we do the rationalization with the value 1 minus sin x so this is equals to integral 1 minus sin x into 1 minus sin x is equal to 1 minus sin x whole square by 1 plus sin x into 1 minus sin x is equal to 1 minus sin square x a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square and this is equals to integral so this is a minus b whole square taking the expansion 1 plus sin square x minus 2 sin x by denominator value 1 minus sin square x is equal to cos square x into ds now separating the denominator so this is equals to so again i take that sin square x is equal to 1 minus cos square x sin square x is equal to 1 minus cos square x minus 2 sin x by cos square x into dx now separating the denominator so this is equals to integral 1 plus 1 this is 2 so 2 by cos square x so the first value is equal to 2 by cos square x second value minus cos square x by cos square x is equal to minus 1 next value minus 2 into sin x by cos square x sin x by cos x is equal to tan x and 1 by cos x is equal to secant x okay just to separating the denominators 2 by cos square cos square by cos square 1 2 into sin by cos is equals to tan and 1 by cos is equal to secant and this is 2 by cos square x is equal to 2 secant square x this value is equal to 2 secant square x now doing the integrations 2 into integral secant square x dx is equal to tan x minus integral 1 dx is equal to x minus 2 into integral secant x into tan x is equal to secant x plus c that's all that is the answer and this is the first option just to simply taking the rationalization and expansion and then after separating the denominator we can take the integration to all the types that's all and this is the first option next question integral cos 2x minus cos 2 alpha by sin x minus sin alpha into dx is equal to okay now this is equals to since here we have the terms sin x and sin alpha in the denominator i want to convert the same terms in the numerator also what is cos 2 alpha formula in terms of sin x the formula is 1 minus 2 sin square x here we are applying the formula for cos 2x in terms of sin since here we have the sin terms at the denominator okay minus again what is cos 2 alpha formula 1 minus 2 sin square alpha by sin x minus sin alpha okay and this is equals to so it becomes minus 1 plus 2 sin square alpha here minus 1 and plus 1 gets cancelled now what are the remaining values 2 sin square alpha minus 2 sin square x i am taking 2 common here then we get 2 into sin square alpha minus sin square x by uh, from the denominator i take the minus common here minus of this is sin alpha minus sin x okay from the denominator i take minus common okay now writing the constant before the integration minus 2 is the constant minus 2 of integral this is a square minus b square which is a plus b into a minus b that is sin alpha plus sin x into sin alpha minus sin x by sin alpha minus sin x into dx now here sin alpha minus sin x and sin alpha minus sin x gets cancelled now take the integration of the remaining values minus 2 into sin alpha integration this is the constant integral k dx integral k dx is equal to kx plus c that is x into sin alpha plus sin x integration minus cos x plus c so the answer is equal to 2 into multiplying the values by minus here then we get cos x minus x sin alpha plus c that's all this is the answer and which is the second option next question integral cos x power degree into dx okay so already i told about this value in the limits and coordinate chapter 
What is x power degree value pi by 1? Pi by 180 into x. What is x power degree value? Pi by 180 into x. What is x power g value? Pi by 200 into x. Already I told you about these values in the limits and continuity topic. Okay. Now replacing that value here, integral cos of what is x degrees value pi by 180 into x. Now this is in the form of integral cos ax. And what is integral cos ax integration? Sin ax by a. That is sin of pi by 180 into x by pi by 180 plus c. So answer is equal to 180 by pi into sin of pi by 180 into x plus c. That's all. This is the answer. And this is the third option. So this is equals to 180 by pi into sine of pi by 180 into x. What is that value? x decrees. x decrees plus c. Now replacing the text degrees at this place. So answer is equals to third option. That's all.